We've specifically titled this presentation, The Secret to Cardiovascular Health, because 95% of the adult population has never heard of this life-saving information. Yet the reality is, this is not a secret at all, or at least it shouldn't be. Why? Because the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how one particular organ in your body actually determines most of your cardiovascular health. When we say this, people think that we'll be talking about their heart. And while your heart is critical to your health, there is another organ that actually plays an even greater role in determining your overall cardiovascular health and function. That organ is called the endothelium. Your endothelium is only one cell thick, but it lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries and arterioles, veins and venules are lined by this one cell thick organ. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Research over the last 10 years has clearly shown the endothelium to be a multifunctional organ involved in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. One of those functions is to convert the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. To help you understand this amazing organ, let's look at the key functions it provides to your cardiovascular system. The first one is angiogenesis, or the formation of new capillary beds. This is necessary for wound healing and critical in helping to limit the damage from a heart attack or stroke. Your endothelium facilitates blood flow and is involved in both the prevention of blood clots through nitric oxide as well as helping your blood to clot. Your endothelial cells are the controlling factor in regulation of your blood pressure. And your endothelium provides a specialized barrier function to regulate the passage of gases, fluids, and various molecules across their membrane. This plays an extremely important function for each organ as well as your immune system. Most vascular researchers now believe it's your endothelium that ultimately determines the health of your cardiovascular system. One major function of the endothelium is to produce a gas called nitric oxide. This is so important to your cardiovascular health that the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. One of these Nobel laureates is Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, who wrote a national bestseller called No More Heart Disease. We'd like to focus on the subtitle of his book. It says, How Nitric Oxide Can Prevent, Even Reverse, Heart Disease and Strokes. End of quote. To emphasize this point, we'd like to read to you two short quotes from Dr. Ignaro's book. Here's the first one. Though NO's structure is simple, Nitric oxide is now regarded as the most significant molecule in the body, absolutely critical to your well-being. I am convinced that nitric oxide can age-proof your cardiovascular system, keeping it much fitter than your chronological age would indicate." End of quote. And the second is, now we know we can reverse cardiovascular impairment naturally with the body's internally manufactured wonder drug nitric oxide." End of quote. Additionally, Dr. John Cook, the director of vascular medicine at Stanford University, published a book called The Cardiovascular Cure. Notice his subtitle, How to Strengthen Your Self-Defense Against Heart Attack and Stroke. Dr. Cook goes on to say the following, quote, This book will introduce you to the magic that is inside your blood vessels. It comes in the shape of a molecule, one of the simplest molecules found in nature. This molecule is nitric oxide, or NO, a substance so powerful that it can actually protect you from heart attack and stroke. Best of all, your body can make it on its own. Nitric oxide is your body's own built-in natural protection against heart disease. End of quote. So let's have a brief review so that we can understand the significance of this information. Your endothelium lines the inside of all your vascular system. We've already covered some of its health-enhancing functions, but the one that earned a Nobel Prize was its ability to produce a gas called nitric oxide from the amino acid L-arginine. Nitric oxide is the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system and is absolutely critical for proper cardiovascular health and function. 
But before we talk about some of the specific functions of nitric oxide, we like to share some significant information with you. 77% of people treated for a first stroke had high blood pressure. 69% of people who have a first heart attack have high blood pressure. 74% of people with congestive heart failure have high blood pressure. 66% of people with diabetes have high blood pressure. As you can clearly see, high blood pressure is a common ailment of all four of these cardiovascular health issues. Additionally, a blood clot formation that lodges in a vascular artery is usually the reason for a stroke or heart attack. The vast majority of these diseases are a result of endothelial cell dysfunction and its inability to properly produce nitric oxide. This information helps us to identify three keys to solving most cardiovascular health issues. They are controlling blood pressure, preventing blood clots, and reversing endothelial cell dysfunction. Here's how nitric oxide directly addresses each of these keys. First, nitric oxide is your body's most powerful vasodilator. What this means is that nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to relax, which helps to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. That would directly benefit our first key of controlling blood pressure. Second, nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to naturally prevent blood clots. This would reduce the number one cause of strokes and heart attacks and directly address our second key. Third, nitric oxide helps to repair damage done to the endothelium and keep it free from plaque formations and calcification. Plaque formations result in the disease called atherosclerosis and calcification results in the disease called arterial sclerosis. According to the American Heart Association, 74% of all cardiovascular disease is related to atherosclerosis, plaque formations within the arteries, and arterial sclerosis, calcification or hardening of the arteries. Proper levels of nitric oxide help to prevent both of these issues, and it directly addresses the last key of helping to reverse endothelial cell dysfunction. So how does your endothelium create this nitric oxide? Well, there are two important amino acids needed. They are L-arginine and L-citrulline. Your endothelium directly converts L-arginine into nitric oxide, but it needs a certain level. According to Nobel laureate Dr. Louis J. Ignaro, my research shows that L-arginine in doses smaller than four to six grams produces almost zero increase in nitric oxide. So it is in essence an all or nothing proposition. You must receive the full dose of L-arginine, end of quote. For you to get what we call a therapeutic increase in nitric oxide, you need to consume four to six grams of L-arginine at one time or an average of about five grams. Additionally, you also need the amino acid L-citrulline. While L-citrulline doesn't directly produce nitric oxide, what it does is recycles L-arginine so that your endothelium can continue to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. Again, according to Dr. Ignaro, it is the synergy between the L-arginine in a large enough dose, the L-citrulline, and the key antioxidants that creates dramatic increases in your body's nitric oxide production. Without the proper combination of these nutrients, which so many other programs lack, you will receive little to no benefit from nitric oxide therapy." End of quote. Once people understand how critically important this is to their cardiovascular health, they typically want to know how they can bring these two amino acids into their body. So let's talk nutrition for its key to nourishing your endothelium. As you can see by the PowerPoint slide, we've listed some common food sources in which to obtain the amino acid L-arginine. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit, you need to consume at least five grams of this amino acid at one time. So we selected six food items that we thought would be common food choices. We did the math conversions to look at how much food you would need to eat to take in five grams of L-arginine. We also looked at the number of calories and grams of fat it would bring into your body. As you can see by the slide, peanuts provide the smallest quantity of food, but they pack on 70 grams of fat and 918 calories. 
When you examine the slide, you can see that the three best choices are one can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken are needed on a daily basis. For alcitrulline, you only have one good food choice, which is watermelon. Unfortunately, 60% of the alcitrulline is contained in the rind portion, which people typically throw away. So unless you juice the entire watermelon, most people do not get adequate amounts of alcitrulline to help turbocharge their endothelium's ability to properly produce nitric oxide. Which brings us to the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through food or supplementation? After much research and study, we've determined that the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace is Prorogenine Plus, distributed by Synergy Worldwide and manufactured in the United States by Nature's Sunshine Products. Both Synergy Worldwide and Nature's Sunshine have received the NSF Good Manufacturing Certification, which means that they meet the highest standards in the nutrition industry for quality assurance and control. The manufacturing process to create the proprietary formulation of Prorogenine Plus is second to none. A total of 262 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. Prorogenine Plus contains both L-arginine and L-citrulline at the needed levels to turbocharge your endothelium's ability to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. Additionally, Prorogenine Plus also includes the following ingredients. We're not going to go into detail about each ingredient, but we would like to highlight two, which will help you better understand the science that went into the design of this product. We want to highlight vitamins D3 and K2. You need vitamin D3 to help your body properly absorb calcium. You need vitamin K2 to help your body properly direct where calcium goes. Calcium is extremely important for your body, not just for bone health and the prevention of osteoporosis, but also for a wide variety of cellular reactions, one of which is the creation of nitric oxide. The following illustration will help you understand the importance of calcium in nitric oxide production. If you walk into a dark room and you want the lights on, you flip the switch on the wall. If you look at nitric oxide as the light, the wiring in the wall as the enzymatic process the endothelium uses to create nitric oxide, and L-arginine as the electricity, then the switch is calcium. Calcium starts the reaction. Vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 help to regulate your calcium levels in your bloodstream so that this reaction can properly take place. Prorogenin Plus incorporates Nobel Prize winning science, cutting edge vascular research, and pharmaceutical grade manufacturing to create what many consider to be the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace. What also makes Prorogenin Plus unique is that it has clinical application and studies to back up its effectiveness. The High Desert Heart Institute is located in Victorville, California. In 2009, they did a human clinical study using Prorogenin Plus. This study involved 33 congestive heart failure patients who were all medically and pharmaceutically managed to the maximum. Over a 90-day period, these patients were given an aggressive amount of Prorogenin Plus, and by the end of 90 days, all patients had their medications substantially reduced. Dr. Siva Arusalam, who is the director and founder of the High Desert Heart Institute, made the following statement in a recent interview, quote, What we ended up seeing was remarkable positive remodeling of the heart, positive pulmonary artery changes, pulmonary vascular changes in terms of pulmonary pressures, changes in cardiac dimensions, changes in heart function, end of quote. Because of these remarkable changes to their patients, the High Desert Heart Institute uses Prorogenin Plus as part of their standard treatment program for their patients, and they continue to do ongoing cardiovascular studies using this highly effective product. So what does all this information mean to you? Well, a healthy endothelium equals a healthy cardiovascular system. The health of your endothelium and its ability to properly produce nitric oxide can potentially reduce your risk for high blood pressure, 
cholesterol concerns, diabetic complications, and other cardiovascular issues that have shortened the lifespan of so many people. We believe Prorogen Plus can nourish your endothelial cells to help you properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system, and the most powerful vasodilator for helping you improve your cardiovascular health. This leaves us with a question. Would you like to take our 90-day health challenge to see if Prorogen Plus can aid you and your family members in improving your cardiovascular health? If your answer is yes, then please talk with the person who recommended this presentation to you. They will work with you to help you properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production leading to improved cardiovascular health. This combination of a healthy endothelium with improved nitric oxide production is the secret to cardiovascular health. Please help us reveal this secret to others so that together we can substantially reduce the impact of cardiovascular disease.